Hi there, it's Thursday the 22nd of October 2020. We're continuing to look at how God speaks to us through everyday life and even through the everyday objects in everyday life in just the same way that Jesus spoke to his disciples through everyday objects that were round about so God by his Spirit can speak to us through even everyday objects in our world if we will just take the time to listen. And so I'm going to choose something else here within the room that I'm in and it's this little little heater. I don't know if you have one of these fan heaters. Um, I often have it on when it's quite cold and chilly, just heats you up quite quickly, provides instant heat, um, which is great. It is expensive, it does cost to, to have it running, but it's great to provide heat when it's chilly. And what it makes me think about is, think about this world. For some people, Sadly, possibly for many people, the world can be a kind of cold and chilly place. Some people can feel that there's not much warmth or love or affection within their world. And that's really sad, obviously. And of course, with COVID-19, lockdown, etc., that um, sense of loneliness or isolation can sometimes be accentuated. People even can feel, when they are in groups and are allowed to socialise, people can sometimes feel... Um, marginalised or feel on the edge or feel that somehow they're not quite accepted or don't quite belong. I don't know if you've ever felt like that. I know I've felt like that on occasion and it's not a nice feeling to have. But you know, as Christians in this world, we are supposed to bring heat to people. God is the source of heat, of warmth, of love and affection. And as Christians, we are supposed to reflect and radiate that heat to others and of course the church is supposed to be the warmest place on earth people should be coming into a church to be warm now that seems a bit ironic because some churches get a reputation for being quite cold and drafty of course the big old churches were quite cold places physically to be and sometimes even they can be a little bit cold as well in terms of their welcome to people sometimes Christians can forget that they are enjoying the warmth themselves and it's not just for themselves but it's to be shared with others and so we should always go out of our way to make people feel warm and welcome and provide some heat into people's cold worlds you know Jesus came into the world to provide heat he came to provide warmth he came to love those who felt outsiders time and again he did that Remember Jesus speaking to the Samaritan woman who was on her own, outcast, had five husbands, a bad reputation, and yet he spoke to her. Remember the other woman who came weeping at his feet, uh, Mary, and how Jesus provided warmth for her and accepted her. Remember Zacchaeus, who was a tax collector and he was ostracised, didn't feel much warmth. I don't think in his life Jesus came and had dinner with him. And forgave him for his sins and he was reconciled to people in his community. He brought warmth and affection into his life. Jesus has an amazing way of doing that because he himself is full of warmth and love and affection. There are no cold spots in Jesus. He is warm towards every person. No matter who you are or what you have done, no matter whether you feel loved in life or not, Jesus Christ loves you passionately with all of his heart. He has nothing but tenderness and love and affection for you. And he wants you to know that. He wants you to feel that and experience that. You know, Jesus expressed that in the book of Luke um, when he was going towards Jerusalem and he was looking at Jerusalem and he was so upset about Jerusalem and how they had um, abandoned him and, and rejected him. And, and he says, oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, how... You who kill the prophets and stone those who sent, who were sent to you. How often I have longed to gather you, your children together as a hen gathers her chicks under her wings. But you are not willing. What a beautiful picture of warmth as a hen gathers her chicks and provides the warmth of her body. And so Jesus wanted to gather the people of Jerusalem into his chest and give them warmth and love and affection. But they weren't willing. They rejected Jesus. They weren't willing to come into his embrace. That's very sad. But Jesus still loved the people. Even as he died on the cross, what did he say? Father, forgive them because they don't know what they're doing. 
wherever you are in your life, however cold or warm you feel, Jesus is here for you to gather you into his chest and bring you that warmth and love and affection which you need, which we all need. Let's take a moment to pray, shall we? Thank you, Father God, for your love and warmth and affection through Jesus. We bless you and we come into your arms and receive from you right now that love, that warmth, that affection. In Jesus' name, Amen. God bless you. Speak to you again tomorrow.